What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmont for all your magic card needs. More Modern Horizons 3 as we continue to wait for the next round, excuse me, of the Winnebox events. What do we have here? Stupid sexy bird is what we have. Yeah. Uh, that's that's going to be our first pick. What are we losing out on? Horrific Assault would be my next choice. And then after that, you have some decent but uh, not exciting uncommons. I, I, I mean, the thing about Nadu is I don't like that. I'm taking a green-blue card right off the bat, which means I'm generally going to be leaning towards Eldrazi. So... There is a, I would say, a good chance that uh, we ditch the bird if the lane is not even remotely available. But it is what it is. It's going to be my first pick. And do I want a second pick of Voidcraw to follow up the Nadu? Looking at this pack, I don't even think that's a bad choice. I think the Voidcraw is one of the better cards in this pack. Ah, I really want to make this card work. It just... So many creatures in this format when you're playing green have cast triggers and not enter the battlefield abilities. So it's just... It's not that good, I think. Yeah, it's either taking the void or it's taking the snacker here, I think. Um... God, I really don't want to be doing Eldrazi. I'm going to take the second pick Snacker instead of the Voidcraw. I think they're comparable in power level. I don't mind if uh, it doesn't pan out. Okay, third pick. Best card here is what? Glimpse? In my opinion, anyway. Oozwag's decent. Fangs is solid. Lion Umbra is not bad. Umbra's okay. Dog Umbra, that is. I guess I should probably take a green card here. Who's the fangs? I think I'm going to take the fangs. Huh. Another fangs, a priest, another void craw, a meddler. All right. Well, kind of wish I had the uh, other void craw instead of the sneaky snacker, but this might be working out now. I think I'm going to take the void craw now over the priest. Hmm. Okay, a second sneaky snacker. Breaker, Tusker, Evolution Witness. These are all solid choices. I would so much rather play a sneaky snacker deck than a stupid Eldrazi deck. <clears throat> I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a snacker here. And if I get punished, I get punished. I, I would consider this a reward. Pick six Accursed Marauder is nuts. There is another Tusker here. That's fine. Mask and Flare. But no, Marauder is probably the best black common. Okay. Getting some rewards. Revitalizing Repast is also an amazing trick. Some decent enough black cards there. But this is looking okay now. Uh, blue green land. Okay, a little bit a of value for Nadu fixing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks reasonable. And the nice part about this is, hopefully, we're, you know, shipping enough Eldrazi that uh, other people will fight for. Two sneaky snackers, I think, in pack one is a really good start. But we will now really need to be on the lookout for uh, the Eviscerator's insights. You know, deep analysis, that brain surge that I passed, cards that immediately trigger the snacker to get back, and especially if you can have the ways to uh, get the value out of them besides, you know, the insight sack is obvious, but more marauders and whatnot. Hey, there it is. Okay, wheeling eviscerator's insight. That is perfect. Boom. Boom, 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 get in my room. I guess another ni nice thing about the repass that I took is it's 
good fixing for the Nadu if we uh, should need to play it as a land. How many ways are there going to be to target my own creatures in blue-black, though? Maybe not a ton, but that doesn't really matter. Sentry here. Although Snacker into Nadu is kind of neat. You know, I'm... I am lightweight debating taking this birthing ritual. Okay, we might try to have a little bit of fun. I will take the creation of Avacyn. We're going to do some weird combo-ish deck. We've hit that point in the format where... Uh, I mean, maybe it's always the case, but I'm going to value fun a little bit more than... Wow. Fun a little bit more than what is good. Other things, wheeling is kind of nuts too. I guess in theory, I, theory I could also be like the green black one one counter deck splashing Nadu. But I like the double snacker with the birthing ritual. Okay, another flare of cultivation, but we have a nightscape dryad or nightshade dryad here. Bedler. Layer of Cultivation number two. I guess I could also just be like straight up three color. Ah. Am I leaning now towards green black? Not really losing anything for the blue black deck. Okay. Take the dryad and see what happens. That is disgusting. Not going to be taking the Guide of Souls. Drown of Truth is a good blue-green land, though. Defiler, Kami, Ooze, another man. So many Void Craws going around, too. All right, so we have a blue-black land and a green-black land. That should help quite a bit. Defiler's pretty nice. It's a draw two effect for the Snackers, I guess. Man, third flare of cultivation. Speaking of thirds, wow, this is such a good pack for us. It's got the perfect Sultai landscape. It's got another flare, consign, reform with birthing ritual. Seems really cool. Rumble, snacker. So we want to get three drops with the snackers though, right? But I don't think Nightblade's what we want here, and Specimen's definitely not that good. I'm just going to take the Embercool's Messenger and keep going with the blue-black base. Another Accursed Marauder. This would actually be a really good deck to pick up a bunch of the uh, Transmigrants, too, if we can find them. So yeah, blue-black base, Splashing, Nadu, and Birthing Ritual is my plan. Now this is cool. Gift of the Viper seems okay here. Oh wait, what am I talking about? We're not playing uh, green as a main, are we? So we have a green black land? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cephalid Col Coliseum seems like a card that could be okay in this deck, but... <sighs> First, you need to get Threshold. Fourth Snacker! Oh my god, okay. I have four Snackers, but only one Eviscerator's Insight. Also, I have Birthing Ritual with only one three drop. <laughs> uh, this is pretty funny. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a flare on the wheel. Again, these type of cards don't do much. When you're potting into them or birthing into them. Green, blue land. I mean, I guess I should probably just still take the Meddler for playables. Spike is a bad counter? Ugh. Okay, we are not ending up with a good birthing ritual deck. 
There's the worm. That's a good one to go from four to five, but again, we don't have good. We don't have good fives for the uh, ritual because, like I said, we're looking for those ETBs. There's a three, but we don't have tokens. I mean, Emrakul's messenger, I guess. Tamio! I think this might actually be my first Tamio in a draft. That's crazy. And she's perfect in our deck. We lose out on another Snacker. Okay. Curious. That's great. I must investigate this scroll further. Yeah, I mean, we're just blue-black splashing Nadu at this point. When you draw your third card in a turn, you do the fling. She makes clues for Nightblade. Triggers the draw three for other cards. Where are our card draw effects, though? Oh, I guess Rush of Inspiration might be a card I want to take more here because of the draw two. Yeah, that's probably with four snackers, that's got to be right over Wither and Bloom. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Deep analysis. Hello, friend. Good pack, too, for us. There's the Transmigrant. There's another Messenger. There's another Drowner for fixing. Do not pass a deep analysis in this. My removal is slightly lacking. I have the double Marauder. But that's about it. I don't feel like I've passed too much removal. There was that Wither and Bloom, but I don't think we've passed too many like Breathe Your Lasts or anything like that, have we? No. Uh, another spike? I mean, I guess in place of removal, counter magic is probably fine, and having a little bit of energy for Rush of Inspiration isn't bad. There's a Transmigrant. But I'm wondering if the Gargantua is better now, right? For another way to draw two. Probably. Five sneaky snackers, and yet I only have one insight. God, I need another insight so badly. So how many ways do we have to trigger the draw two? We have insight plus flashback, rush, creation technically can tutor for a draw two, deep analysis with flashback, pick eight, snacker number six. Uh, we have Death Defiler, Gargantua. Seven Sneaky Snackers. And yet I feel like... Well, no, the, the Tempest Harvester doesn't do enough, right? It only draws one card. In fact, am I just cutting the Nadu? Is it just better to cut this? Make our deck more streamlined? Like, look at this. Seven Sneaky Snackers. I think it might be right. <laughs> Just cut the meddler. Uh, I guess we can run the meddler. Maybe I play that instead. Do we need a Dream Drinker? No, that doesn't seem that important. Man, what a weird deck. I don't even actually think this is that good, even though we have the seven Sneaky Snackers. Isn't that crazy? I don't actually have a blue-black land either. 
Okay, this is a this is a weird one. I don't remember the last time I had this many of one card in limited. Usually, you peek at it like four, maybe you get five, but seven? It's kind of insane. Yeah, like I said, I don't even think this deck is good. It's like fine. It's cool, but it's not that good. All right, I mean, seven sneaky snackers. Let's submit this. Go play some magic. All right, let's see what this uh, seven snack deck can do without uh, more than one insight. How unlucky. Only one snack in the opening hand, huh? I guess the s either spikes in this deck... Well, I mean, they're fine. I'm... Generally not going to be able to hold them open on turn two because we have so many two drops to play. But I guess on turn four we can play like a two drop and hold up the spikes. Something akin to that. Uh, we do not need to play the waterlogged teachings on turn one if we don't want to. Right? Because we have so many twos, just turn two we can play a two drop. Turn three we can play a two drop with the teachings. Plus... <laughs> With the one insight in the deck, it might actually be correct to just go tutor for it a lot of the time, you know? Alright, turn to Brood Scale. Rush of Inspiration. That is also not bad. Being on the draw here is going to suck, I feel like. Wow, they have a very good curve. Um, Alright, so let's play another Snack Out and Teachings then. And that way we'll have double blue for next turn. So that we can uh, block with the Snackers and then bring them back. Oh, it still might be white right to just run out the reform and get that going as well. Okay. Idle and a dryad. I guess now I could go messenger plus hold up the spike. And by doing so, uh, we can also trigger the messenger when we do go for the rush. Because they've been missing land drops, so... Alright, well, can't counter that. Am I gonna get punished because they had nothing to do? Wow. That's brutal. Okay, well, let's get back our snacks. Discard a deep analysis. That's some good value, at least. So they are at four spawn tokens. They have four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. So if they go for a seven drop, we can spike it. Another basking. More tokens. <sighs> Not attacking with the Dryad is interesting. Yeah, I probably don't have a choice anymore. I gotta run out the reform and cross our fingers here, I think. That is a very strange play, I feel like. 
have been much better for them to just sack a spawn and level that up, right? Unless they're actually going to be going for some crazy Emrakul nonsense. I need to find a way to lock down the uh, the idol of the false gods here. We can do it for a turn with the meddler, but it sucks that I'm not able to attack with the snackers right now. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Crazy that they've done this all with just four lands, too. It's absurd. Good news is I can spike that for one. So I get to sack the reef worm and a land here. And then go block, block, block here, block here. Keep one of the snackers alive, because we need it untapped. Holding, all right. Now we can go messenger. Draw two, get back our other snackers, also get a token. I mean, I very well could just lose to a uh, Ghost fire slice, of course, but somewhat stable, it feels like. Getting rid of the annihilator was pretty good. I mean, a lot of things will kill us here. Yeah, that's very large. That doesn't quite kill me. Oh, actually, did they just lose? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 16 damage? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the opponent just tried to throw so bad. And I can't punish them. That is sickening. Well, if you got me, you got me. Snack attack. Okay, that's gain three life. That's still dead on board. Pinnacle monk. Ah. They go back up to nine. Damn it. Oh, 
that's such a bad draw. <sighs> we die exactly here, don't we? Yeah. I have to pass. I have to make him think I have something. Oh my gosh. That's so sickening. Yeah, I have to keep passing here. Jeez. Well, that'll probably do it. Yep, any token kills us. Uh, good beats. Frustrating loss. Hmm. There must have been a way I could have pushed one more damage somewhere. Maybe that was a mistake on my part. There must have been a turn where I could have attacked a little bit better, huh? Instead of holding up multiple blockers. Ah. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Ugh. Oh, that's right. We have a Tammy in this deck. Turn one Tammy with a couple sneaky snacks. Seems kind of great. Too bad we're not on the play here, but... What can you do? Alright, my very first Tammy of the format. It's been a long time coming. Nothing like warm tea the question is, will she survive? Okay, lots of things will kill her here. Yeah, of course, of course. Ah, why wouldn't she just immediately die after all? I am pretty happy we've drawn our one of insight, though. Oh, reform also a pretty good draw. All right. Three colors from the opponent. He's gonna get Scurry. He's carded a land immediately, so they're probably flooding out a bit. I'm gonna keep pressing, even though that means they get to attack with their sentry, no problem. Another Wither and Bloom discarded. Yeah, they don't, aren't so good versus my board, that's for sure. Okay. Continuing the plan. Glad they actually got rid of that before I used a repast. <laughs> I 
Airy Auxiliary, okay. If they discard a land here, I can sack the worm and double block. Nice, all right, so we can go ahead and fire that off. And they did kill the uh, fish, they didn't need to. They could have ordered all the damage on the other creatures. Kill the bird. And we have one snack in the graveyard. So let's sack and get him back. So we're one point off of lethal in the air next turn. That doesn't matter. Alright, well they're just leaving themselves dead to bounce then. Yeah, I'll take it. Good. Alright. Turn one Tammy wins again. Although Tammy didn't do anything herself. That's not the point. Point was we had it, we did it, the thing is successful. All right, on to our next game with this seven snack deck. <laughs> on the play, hand looks fine, though not spectacular. Basically, this deck is just a bunch of 2-1 flyers for two, which can win, limit, win, uh, win some games of limited, but this is a high power format, so you, nothing's guaranteed, of course. Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh... As much as I don't want to draw a land, we kind of want to draw a land, uh, specifically an island for turn four, right? So I can make that play of two drop plus hold up spike like I was talking about. Sure. All right. Well, that is an exile effect. Oh my gosh. We really want to draw an island next turn. This might not even be good, you know? They might just play like a 3-3 here or something and stop me in my tracks. Wow. Okay. This is so bad. This is actually the worst. Four blue cards are in our hand and one island really puts us back. It looks like our opponent missed a land drop as well, though. But yeah, look at this. I'm just brick walled by a uh, by a two three. That's good. Uh, all right, I'm gonna run this out, and if they have a removal spell, I get completely wrecked. Removal spell for the Gargantua, that is. They did already use their Fanged Flames, though. Okay. Please just pass. Nice. Ah, Marauder, Marauder, you're a few turns too late. So I think I'm just going to Messenger here and pass. Attacking with the Gargantua was okay, I guess. Probably should have. There we go. That's a nice one. So let's lead off with the Insight. Sorry, lead off with the Marauder.
And I'm actually just going to pass priority here. I don't want to run into their Galvanic Discharge or something. There's Chris, and they can pay three. But now they only have green open. So if I do this end of turn, I don't get the Snacker from the Graveyard, but I do get a token from the Messenger. Yeah, we just want to ma utilize our mana efficient efficiently now. They're still only on three lands. <sighs> okay. Cammy. Sack. Trigger, 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 trigger. Literally four triggers. Tammy trigger and messenger trigger. Double uh, snacker trigger. Not just a battle of arms, but of ideas. Respect the library. One has nine mana. Turn an instant or story from a graveyard to hand. If it's a green, add one mana of any color. Line breaker. Oh my god. Okay, well that's insane. I need to find a removal spell for that now. Holy crap, that is plus six plus O. Oh. Jesus. I mean, I might as well spike for three here. They want to uh, sack all three spawn. I think we're okay with that. My god, this is disgusting. So it's going to turn into a 7-3. With Trample. So, block like this, Tammy only takes one. And one of their Tramplers and Reach creatures is off the battlefield. So that wasn't too bad for us. My uptick. Think, before you ask. Think we just gotta go for this. Tap down their reach creature. Pack for six in the air. And I am gonna play out the rush as a land since, uh, we have the inside in our graveyard anyways. Is this creation of Avacyn better off as something else in our sideboard? We don't really have an option. I don't think the vampire is what we want. All right. Uh, <laughs> Good news is they have to sacrifice quite a few spawn tokens to uh, to push stuff to through. And nice, we get to trade with their line breaker here. I don't mind that Tamio's dying. So 
So they need to sacrifice two spawn to, uh... Oh, wow. Wow, okay. So that keeps their... Line Breaker alive. Oh, they should have just went face then. But now they need to sacrifice three. So that's gonna shrink their Line Breaker ability too. Yeah, kill the messengers right. So Chrysalis is going to become fat. Three lands, by the way. This is insane. My opponent's draw is absurd. Okay. Alright, again, this is good for us. Because unless they have a way to give the Chrysalis... Nice. Unless they have a way to give the Chrysalis, um... Actually, no, no, no. We want to go Marauder, Sack a Snacker. Then Insight, get them all back. Alright, they are dead on board. And even if they can give the Chrysalis Trample, it's not enough. Whew. Thank God. Let's go, deck. Let us go. We snacking. We snacking hard. On to the next. Okay, okay. Keep it going. Flowing and going. Ah, yes. Classic. Well, I suppose I'm going to keep this, though. I'm on the play with a spike into a potential rush. Pretty awkward not to have one of my literal 10-2 drops, but what can you do? Hey, there you go. It's just that easy. Simply draw it off the top. Although, of course, we draw our one of instead of one of our seven ofs. <laughs> Alright, Sage of the Unknowable. Yeah, let's get the creation online. Best time for it, turn three. Kind of want to grab the deep analysis here, I think. Because that's a multiple draw two effect, plus it's not going to lose us any life off of the final trigger of the creation. Alright. Uh, we got some Eldrazi nonsense coming here. Always the Eldrazi. This is where our spikes are going to be at their worst. This is where consign to memory or whatever would be so much better, but maybe they go for some cards that uh, don't have cast triggers. Probably just wishful thinking, though. Now, if they don't do anything I can counter, I will just fire off the rush end of turn. Oh, actually, you know what? I made a mistake here. I should have played another island, shouldn't I have? Um... Do I care about them getting a 3-5? Because I could spike this. Or I could just rush of inspiration in response. I'll just rush in response, that's fine. Ugh, we discarded our spike, of course. But we drew one of our snackers to go along with the insight, so not all is lost. Okay, a couple of snackers even. 
Very nice. We'll just go triple two one flyer turn then. What? They are Eldrazi and they are Teamer at that with a red source off the top. So you can expect to see any number of Reach creatures. That is going to be a huge problem. Okay. You know, I'm almost tempted to triple block this, but we wouldn't be able to get back our messenger, so. Okay. Well, we'd definitely be snacking. I mean, even if they play a Reach Eldrazi at this point, it might be too late. Like, we'll just take another three from the Defiler, no problem. We have potentially eight in the air next turn, you know? Yeah, that does not have reach. That does draw a bunch of cards. But that's one of the big Eldrazi that doesn't do anything to the Snackers. <clears throat> All right, combat. Now, we still want to go deeper if we can, so. Nice. Get one of their mana dorks or one of their larger creatures. Probably just the sage, though. Oh, they sacrificed their... Okay, so they want the mana. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11. I mean, if they have Emrakul, they have Emrakul. You know, this game is pretty stupid sometimes, not gonna lie. But what can you do? If there was one card that was gonna beat us, they had to have that one. Uh, what can I draw? Nothing to add two damage to them, right? Pretty good. I mean, again, you gotta give them props, but... It's pretty hilarious to lose, lose like this. Basically one card in the format. Good beats! Man, this, again, these last few days have been so miserable. Like, you gotta get, again, you give them props for casting Emrakul, but... Absurd. Okay. That's magic, baby. Oh, good beats. Good beats. Okay, keep that one. Gotta play the repast as a land here, though. And it's time to snack attack, okay. Man, getting exile affected so many times as well, sheesh. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. Happy to trade here. What do we want to grab with Creation of Avacyn is the question.
I don't think Tamio is... Well, actually... No. Because even though we could flip it immediate with Depth Defile, I don't think that's good enough. We probably just want to grab, like, Insight for our uh, analysis again. Okay. It's a bit annoying. Well, there's the Tammy anyways, so... This might work out pretty well for us. There is a golem. Sure. I don't mind trading with the uh, unicorn. I think. That seems fine to me. Oh, that's also pretty good. We can make them sacrifice their uh, conduit goblin as well. Might as well get the clue. Mm, I guess the defiler is just safer though. Ooh, we hope they put the kite on the goblin. Darn, because then we would be able to just make them sacrifice it. It's fine, they get one energy, I take four. Let's attack with all. We get to make some cute plays here. We get to play the messenger. Draw a card, trigger the messenger. Now I can either flip the Tammy or I can make them sack their goblin. I guess it's probably fine just to make them, uh, or rather flip our Tammy. And that's totally fine by me as well. Can they even afford to attack here? Yeah, I don't think they can. Uh, all right, so how do we want to do this? I think it's probably Marauder, Sack the Snacker, make them sack their goblin finally. Analysis, trigger the messenger and our snackers. <laughs> Alright, the snack attack don't stop. How many snackers is that now? Two, three, four, five. Okay, the snack attack don't stop in the deed. Nice. I would like to play a 2-1 flyer, and then I will play another 2-1 flyer, and then I will play another 2-1 flyer, and then a 2-1 flyer. Okay, 3-2 on the game, what, 6? 
No blue sources. Got them all. Uh, yeah, we'll pitch the creation here. Hopefully I don't end up regretting that. The creation's actually been not too bad these last few games. Because this deck needs to draw its card draw effects so badly, usually. But we didn't have double black at the time. If I had two swamps in my hand, I probably would have pitched the meddler instead. I am guessing I'm going to have more snackers than they do, but the question is, do they have more card draw effects than I? Well, that one doesn't really matter by itself, at least. Um... <clears throat> Alright, there's one of our ways to draw two, so we'll go ahead and sack the snack. Man, the dream would be to discard a snacker randomly off of the Rush of Inspiration. Oh, there's their deep. Nice. Whoa, that's pretty good here, because we get to flip immediately. Oh, discard the snack. Oh, man. We drew a snacker, we just didn't get the discard off of it. Darn it. That would have been so cool. Yeah, 33% chance to kind of just win the game. Well, yeah, that's not exactly true, but... That would put us extremely far ahead, let's put it that way. Breathe your last kills, Tammy. So does uh, Fell the Profane, but those aren't the end of the world if they have them. Yep. Oh man, they actually gained two life because Tamio on the flip side is green and blue. That sucks. I do not care if they. Yeah, that's. Totally fine. Man, randomly discarding that land is going to hurt so bad. We have both of our five drops in hand and, yeah, stuck on. I guess I have fed it too. Two of our three five drops and we're stuck on uh, four. The, it's really good to just bounce their larva there, but I kind of want to hold the Depth of Filer in case I want to draw two with it to re-trigger the Snackers, you know? Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Damn, I can so close to kill them here. They are just not quite dead. Okay. Don't mind seeing that as a start. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, they're dead on board here. If they have another Breathe Your Last, it's not too problematic. Okay. Huh. Uh, so they needed to attack with their Warm Coil Larva. Then they, well, no, I guess they were still going to be kind of boned. Alright, in any case, it feels good to get four wins. It's been a while here on the recorded videos, so... Four wins with the uh, seven snack deck. Let's see if we can keep snacking on peeps. Zero snackers in opening hand. Okay, I don't even. I don't think I can keep this, right? No, I can't. That's absurd. Are you kidding? Oh man. All right. Well. To find a black source here. 
There's the black source at least. Though that transmigrant makes my marauder much worse, so. What we're likely to do here is trade if given the opportunity. If they just attack, I'll block. And that'll make my marauder a little bit better. Assuming they play a creature here. Oh man, they didn't even have a creature? Gross. They might just go land pass. Thankfully they didn't. Because if they had went land pass and done the transmigrant, I would have been in an A-OK -okay shape. Oh, they forgot to play a land first too. <laughs> We have to Marauder that while we still have an opportunity before they can get other stuff online. So it looks like they're the green-black deck. I am a little bit afraid they might have a way to reanimate their Breaker of Creation now. Please don't kill this. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, man. Look at the hits. What a joke, dude. And I lost my... Deep analysis forever now. Yeah, I'm left with nothing. We lose the game. They just like five for one me. That's insane. What can you do? Crab is one of the least fun cards to play against in the format. It's like Crab and Chrysalis. Uh, cra uh, crab because of the randomness. Chrysalis because, well, yeah. Man. Good beats. Alright. Yeah, GG's. Cool deck we had. I mean, I'm happy to got, I got to four wins. We needed some more Eviscerator's Insights especially, but uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to see seven of a card for a long time again in any limited format because that was definitely absurd. But ah, that's magic, baby. It's been a brutal couple of last days for sure, but uh, we'll pick it up again. I mean, we're still holding on to a good rank, if nothing else. As always, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.